What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. For breakfast, I uh, had a banana and some dark chocolate. And for lunch, I'm gonna be eating a whole lot of food, like probably soup and probably, um, sorry, that's my fingers. Uh, probably soup and probably like some other stuff. I don't know. Um, I, don't, I don't know what else I'm gonna have. A bagel probably, a banana. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of stuff because it's Tuesday today and that means I have school at 6 p.m. Uh, last week. Uh, school was just cut short because of a power outage that happened, and that was pretty interesting. Um, but today, I do want to talk about something interesting. Um, with this whole AI revolution that's been going on, um, something that occurred, uh, I think, a little bit before, like, like uh, GPT-3 became easily accessible through ChatGPT. Um, a little bit before then, I ran into this piece of software called Waifu2x. Um, and it's basically just this uh, AI image upscaler, but it was really cool because um, I, you know, I had never seen something like that before. And, and basically the way it worked is you were able to turn images um, into this waifu2x website, um, and then it would just upscale it by two times um, using AI. And it would be cool because you would look at the two times image and you would look at the line work um, and it would just be like a lot higher resolution and it was cool because you were never really able to do that before unless you like retraced over it um, but since then um, the sort of what you've been able to do with AI upscaling uh, has gotten a lot better and I'm actually I actually have this piece of software on my computer called upscale and you, I, it's free and you can get it um, and uh, it's really cool because you're able to um, use AI image upscalers like using these different models. Uh, I used it a lot because I use it on a lot of screenshots. And you're able to upscale it up to like 32 times. So you can do double upscale and then 16 times and then you can have these just gigantic images. But something I've been using it for is... One sec. Something I've been using it for is stuff like this. So in my notes I have a lot of these... Um, well, a lot of my... Um, cloud notes for my cloud class um they have these images in them that kind of just represent like why it's better to have like like auto scaling for example um and i was actually able to scale up this screenshot to 4k um whenever i have images in my notes i kind of just conceptually dislike them not being in 4k like whenever they're not even hd i'm like oh my god like this needs to be a 4k image which is funny considering you know this is the context in which this is used and it's like not even scaled up to 4k but i like having uh, you know 4k images and so i made this little image uh and it's kind of like an amalgamation of a bunch of different uh graphs that are shown in um or chart is this a chart a bunch of different charts that are shown throughout this video and uh, you zoom in this is the original screenshot right and you zoom in and it looks fine and you can read everything right but i was able to upscale it to 4k and let me zoom in this is how it looked in 4k boom and you know something interesting about ai image upscaling is that uh it always looks a little weird like if you look here like you can see that it kind of like it bends strangely at the bottom and especially if you look at the letters like you can see that the font um like, you know, I don't think the P has this little, like, little shoot-off thing here, and I don't think, like, you know, like, everything just looks a little strange, like, everything looks a little off when you zoom in, um, but, uh, it's actually just really nice because now I'm able to have this, and also there's, like, um, around each of these bars in the bar chart, there's, like, this weird white glow that wasn't there previously, um, so it's certainly not perfect, um, Oh, and here, like, it kind of, like, gets blue. Like, it just kind of gets blue here, and just, like, some weird stuff. Um, but overall, like, it, it works really, really well, and it's awesome because, like, you could just tell, like, this is obviously a lot higher resolution than, than this, you know? Um, and I'm just happy that technology like this exists now, and I'll have it for the rest of my life. Um, and it'll only get faster and better because I'll have a better and faster GPU. Um, yeah, nothing else is really going on. Um, I've been listening to the Donda 2 track, Happy, a lot, which is funny. Um, you know, Future comes in with a really good verse, but then, like, the classic, like, Kanye mumble comes in, uh, because it's an unfinished song. Um, and I don't know, uh, like, Kanye, whenever he's working on a song, it seems like he does the production first, like, the beat first, and then he, like, gets his flow down, um, by just, like, playing the song and then just kind of mumbling over the beat, over, like, what the flow of the song is gonna be, like, over what the flow of his lyrics are gonna be, um, and then he finishes the lyrics, so the lyrics come fa uh, come last, uh, and so something that happens, um, with a lot of unreleased Kanye songs is, like, the production is almost, like, it's just about finished, 
um, and all the, the guest verses are done, but then the Kanye verse is him just going like, ba -ba 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 -ba, you know, he's just like, b like babbling and mumbling on the beat, um, which is fine. Uh, but I think in the context of happy off Donda 2, um, it just results in like some funny moments. Like he has this stupid verse, oh, he has this stupid like lyric where he's like, I ran up a million being frugal. Um, and I just think that's a funny concept. Um, and then uh, I think on the second half of his uh, of his verse on Happy, he does this like really weird flow. He's like ba da ba da ba da ba da, uh, and you could hear it. Um, uh, and then at the end, he says, "Mortal Kombat, and I finish you. They want to throw me in the institute. All you can do is salute." And I just think that's a funny thing to say because why? Like that's just a stupid that's just a stupid verse. And I've just been thinking about different parts of this song a lot because it's probably the best song off Donda too, respectfully. I know I'm kind of copying Professor Sky's opinion on YouTube of this, but, um, you know, Happy is the best song off Donda 2. And frankly, this is my hot take, this is my hot Kanye take, if Kanye finished and released Donda 2, it would be his best album. That's crazy. I don't know. The Life of Pablo is pretty good. But, you know, that's my hot take. And, uh, you know, I can defend it as much as I want because Donda 2 never came out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope everybody has a good day, and yeah, see you, dude.